Hello everyone, welcome in today's video. Now in this video, um, I'm going to share to you one of the highlights of my uh, US academic experience and that is when I competed in the 3 minute thesis competition in our university. Now, a lot of you might be wondering, what is 3-minute thesis competition? Well, 3-minute thesis competition is usually open to graduate school students. And just like what the name says, you're given 3 minutes to explain to the public or to the audience uh, in a way that they will really be able to understand uh, your thesis or dissertation. And um, it's a very memorable experience for me and uh, I hope to share that experience to you guys uh, on this video. So enjoy! laboratories examine blood samples taken from a suspected drug driver, they would be able to tell us exactly how much alcohol is in the blood of that suspect at the time when he or she was arrested. Well, I found out that it isn't that simple. The truth is, there are so many factors during the collection of that blood, while the blood is in storage, and before examining that blood sample in the forensic laboratory that could cause changes in its original blood alcohol concentration. And since the fair and just resolution of a driving under the influence or DUI case in court is primarily based on the results of the blood alcohol analysis, it's important for us to measure and take into account the changes that those factors bring in the original blood alcohol concentration. And that's exactly what my thesis is all about. I wanted to find out how the five factors, which you can see on the screen, have an influence in the original blood alcohol concentration. And what we were able to find out after preparing, collecting, and examining more than 1,300 blood samples under different conditions over the span of five months is that the presence of excess sugar in the sample and the collection technique had no influence at all in the changes in the blood alcohol concentration. So diabetic drunk drivers did not worry that the results of the blood alcohol analysis would have higher than what they should have and that medical practitioners in charge of drawing blood from the suspect could now use the technique that they are more comfortable with, confident that it will not interfere with the result of the blood alcohol analysis. However, factors like sample volume, storage temperature, and length of storage all have huge effect in the decrease in the blood alcohol concentration. Therefore, what we can suggest based on the result of this thesis is that one, if we want the results to be accurate, when drawing blood on the sample, fill out the tube completely so that little to no air space is left inside the vial. And two, immediately after collection, we refrigerate the sample. And then three, we examine the sample within a month after collection. The result of this study was also presented at the Midwestern Academy of Forensic Science, the American Academy of Forensic Science, and of course, the Kansas Bureau of Investigation in the hope that it will serve as guide in the proper handling of blood samples for DOI cases and ultimately in the proper administration of justice. In the Forensic Science Department, we call that justice through science. Thank you. <laughs> I am Jerry Spotswood, Dean of the Graduate School. Uh, welcome. Uh, to get us started on our award ceremony, I would like to start with the Three Minute Thesis Awards. And I would like to call up Dr. Eric Trump to uh, announce the winners. For the Three Minute Thesis Award, third place is presented to Caitlin Sear for her presentation, Employees, Perceptions, and Pets. Second place winner is Joshua Key. <laughs> the presentation was on learning analytics and student success, ensuring all learners get a chance at success. And the first place winner is Christian Pasquale.
presentation was, was on the impact of storage conditions, sample volume, and collection technique on blood alcohol concentration in non-decomposed, defibrinated sheep's blood.